we're going to start editing the video. Adobe Premiere uses what's called three-point editing. That means there's two points, an in and an out point, on the media clip that you're going to be adding to the video or the timeline, and then one point on the actual timeline or the sequence of the video. So that seems a little overwhelming, but the best way to learn about it is just do it. Over here in the media bin, look for this clip here. It's called PJ Soprano Sax Player 01.mov. By double clicking it, well, we'll undo that. We'll go back to the original clip we were looking at, the photo. So I'll double click it. By double clicking it over here, down here in the, the bin, it actually sends it to the source monitor. And right now we want to find the location or we want to find the in and out point. So I've already looked at the video and I, and I already know I want to find that in point somewhere around 33 seconds. And this blue thing right here is called the uh, playhead. And so we're going to move the little blue icon over here to about 33. We'll see. It doesn't have to be exact. We could even do 32. Okay, so we're going to mark that. There's more than one way to do that. There's You can mark it right here using the in the mark in point or simply go to your keyboard and use the letter I. We'll just go ahead and use this marker here right underneath the source monitor and mark it as the in point. So it created this grayed out area. Okay, we have the in point set for this first clip that's now in the source monitor. We need to set the out point where the clip is going to end. And right now we're just going to drag or move the this little blue icon with that's the playhead until you can see the couple dancing over on the right. See that? We're just going to get them across the street and add just a little bit more. Maybe about right there. We can always change this later. And we're going to set the out point. And there's two ways to do that. You can use this little icon right here directly underneath the source monitor. It says mark out O or go to your keyboard and just simply type in the letter O. I'm just going to use this icon right here, these little brackets. Okay, now we have an in point and an out point. And now we need to send it to the timeline or the sequence. And then that's this area over here in the lower right portion of the Adobe Premiere window. And it's pretty simple. Now, this is the first clip that we're sending to the sequence. And we're not going to be marking it. We're just simply not going to be marking the sequence with an endpoint. We're just going to click on this and see the little hand and drag it over here into the timeline. And now we now have a clip in the timeline sequence. And you can see, you see this little star or asterisk up here? It means it needs to be saved because we just made an action. So make a change, save a change. And you can just do Command S on a Mac. Now we're going to work on the audio to reduce it. And really a good standard for setting the audio level is minus six decibels. As you can tell, it's really, listen to this, it's really, it's really loud. It's just really loud. It's going to be too loud to be listening to. So we're going to right here, go over here, over here, and uh, you see the 
V1 area. That's for the video portion of the clip. And then there's the A1 area. That's the audio portion. And we're just going to pull down on the A1. And this is what happens. Uh, you can see this is the, I'm going to enlarge that. And you can do that by going like that grabbing on the little icon on the bottom. You can do two things. You could mute it, which we don't want to do, or you simply find this area right here. You can see it adjust. You just make sure you have your selector tool, which you have, and then you're just going to drag this down and we're looking for about minus six or so. Okay, let's just listen to that. It's a little bit easier to listen to. I might just go down a little bit more. The, the saxophone was really loud and the guy had a uh, speaker system, so. Oops, so now I've gone down too low. I want to make sure you're not getting the red. If it's, if you're getting any red over here. It's just too loud. Listen, look. Okay. Uh, it's about six, a little bit more than six. And there you go. We've corrected that and we're going to close that back up just by going over here on top of the blue area on the A1. And that closes it up. And we want to do a command S and save. There, the audio has been adjusted for the first clip on this project.